Hello Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters. I've missed you guys. Hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. Pisces, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you. So as we're talking about them, this pops up on its own. So this person is reminiscing of you, missing you, thinking of you, wanting a reunion with you, but they're trying to figure out how to approach you correctly. Yeah, they don't want to be viewed as emotionally vulnerable, which they are, but they don't want you to know that. This person's trying to make a wise decision on how to approach you. Interesting. Let's do this, Pisces. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Pisces, for Pisces' highest good, please. Universe, please show us <clears throat> what's coming up for Pisces in their life, and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? This one clearly wants to show up as extra message. Oh, you love this person, Pisces, but you don't know where this is truly going. They're not really giving you clear signs or answers to know what to expect of this connection. You feel very attached to this uh, person emotionally, spiritually. You feel deep bonds with them and they feel with you, obviously. This is you feeling scared, not knowing what to do next um, because you do feel attached emotionally. Yeah. You love this person a lot. Yeah, you do. It's real love you feel for this person. <clears throat> yeah. You want to reconcile with them. So clearly there are issues with communication and the two of you are not together right now. You wish to reconcile with this person, but you're scared that maybe they don't feel the same way or maybe this reconciliation would happen. You love this person a lot. You want reunion with them. You feel they're very slow to action. Yeah, but they want to rush uh, towards you. They don't want to be waiting anymore. They want to rush towards you. Yeah, they don't want to wait anymore. They want to take action towards you. <clears throat> yeah, because the Knight of Pentacles was very slow to action actually is reversed, which is a good sign. But you worry that maybe they won't be able to meet you halfway, that maybe they won't reciprocate. Universe, please show us. Hmm. What's coming up for Pisces universe and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, this is you waiting for this communication to happen between you two. You've been waiting on this communication, waiting, and they've been waiting as well. Yeah. You walked away from them though either physically or stop communicating. This is you. Yeah, you feel that they need to prove themselves to you. You felt emotionally unfulfilled in this relationship. You're waiting to see to see if they're going to do something or if it's truly over. Yeah, you're showing up as very mature independent, strong-willed person. You have a lot to offer in a relationship. Yeah, you shouldn't have to chase anyone. You have a lot to offer. You're still holding on to this person emotionally. So you're not detaching from them emotionally. Uh, you walked away physically, but you're not detaching from them emotionally. Yeah, you view them as very slow to action not reciprocating, not meeting you have way. You wish they would come towards you with offer that you can believe in, not just empty words and promises. Yeah. You feel bored with this relationship. You feel like there's no passion 
being shown, no love being shown towards you. Hmm. You feel unappreciated. Yeah. Twice they showed up as just a knight and twice you showed up as queen. The difference between you two is like night and day in relationships. Yeah, you are mature. You are dependable. You are grounded. They showing up as not. Yeah. It's hard for you to deal with someone who is wishy-washy in behavior. Universe, please show us. What's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing? Ooh, yeah, you let them go. Yeah, you see, you've been through a lot of heartbreak in this relationship. Yeah. This person is trying to spy on you. For those of them that are in close physical proximity to where you are, they're checking up to see if someone's in your life, what you're doing, who's entertaining you. Before they approach you, you let them go. This is you meeting new people of quality unexpectedly. Yeah, right now you're very guarded emotionally. Yeah, you're concentrating on yourself right now. Your independence, your financial stability. Yeah, let's see what's going on with that person. Yeah, you've been through so much in your life. So much betrayal from different people. This is you protecting your heart, being very careful, cautious. Yeah, detached emotionally at this time. Trying to make wise decisions for yourself. No, I agree with you. You have to be careful and cautious. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate. Hmm. That you're letting go of, at least for now. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. That Pisces is letting go of for now and how is that soulmate of pisces towards pisces at this time especially emotionally the soulmate that showed up twice as knight of pentacles what's going on currently with that soulmate of pisces and how is that soulmate of pisces towards pisces at this time especially emotionally for some reason two of these as extra messages not one that's unusual so let's see Ooh, they know they messed up. Disappointed you greatly. This means apologies, gifts, peace offerings, explanations. They feel deep love for you, but they don't express that love. They don't make you feel loved, appreciated for some reason. Yeah, this is them quiet. A lot of you are letting go of Virgo. But no matter what sign they are, it shows that they pondering, thinking, retreating in solitude to make wise decisions. Ooh, new soulmate popping up here for you. Yeah. This person is not communicating right now. This is them trying to learn from whatever mistakes were made. They're very concerned that you're going to be with somebody else. So they are quiet, silent. New person popping up here for you. My One of my favorite kings, king of wands. So it looks like you already know them or about to meet them, this king of wands. This person here is very scared of your rejection. And also people in your close surroundings who they feel don't approve of them in your life. Yeah. This person finds you to be a challenge. You're not chasing them. You're not desperate for their attention. They're not used to people of your high caliber. You see, they're used to people who put up with this kind of behavior, wishy-washy behavior. Yeah. They didn't know how to treat you correctly. What concerns me is that there's too many wants here. Which shows me that they're used to this kind of behavior. Yeah. In and out of people's lives. Behavior type. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces. And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time? Especially emotionally. they checking up on you. Spying on you through videos like this. Private reading. Social media to see what's going on in your life. Who is in your life. They also compare you to other people that they've been with in the past and they realize how different you are from those people that they have experience with. Look how scared they are that it's over, that you made up your mind. This person is very scared of approaching you and being rejected. But this shows me they don't communicate effectively in relationships. They don't listen. They don't express emotions. Yeah. Wow, this person is in love with you, but they just don't show it. 
Yeah, it scares them to be so deeply emotionally vulnerable. They're holding two cups. They're trying to figure out what it is you feel for them at this time, whether you love them, despise them, miss them. They don't know. The reason why they're so concerned about uh, you possibly having somebody else is because they love you. If they didn't love you, it would be so easy for them to release you, not think of you, not miss you. They realize what they feel for you is real love, not some kind of crush. Yeah, this person wants you back in their life. They're concentrating a lot on their job. They're very unbalanced between their professional life, work life, and personal life. Yeah, a lot of love for you, just not expressed. Love that's not being expressed, shown. Yeah, you don't feel loved in this connection. Yeah, look how much guilt they have. Honestly, this person has a lot of emotional baggage from past failed relationships that they need to address and work on, heal from, that have nothing to do with you. Yeah, they have a lot that they need to release, forgive. Hmm. It's weighing them down. Yeah. It's negatively affecting the connection with you. They check in up on you, especially nighttime, where they think you can't see them. But if you really pay attention, for those of them that are in close physical proximity to where you are, if you really pay attention, you'll catch them checking up on you. This person does not want to lose you. Yeah, but... They're going to have to take action. They can't just sit there thinking you're going to come back on your own. They have a lot of proving to do. Uh, yeah, universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces, that Pisces is letting go of for now. And how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? Yeah. They betrayed your trust. So the good thing is they recognize that they did wrong by you. Yeah, whether they lied about something major or put your life on hold or had somebody else, whatever the reason was, they recognized that they made a huge mistake. We all make mistakes. Nobody is mistake free. But the good thing is they recognizing that they can't come back to you with more of the same behavior. Yeah. So again, apologies are showing up here. They regret deeply deceiving you or doing wrong by you. They want to apologize. This means gifts, peace offerings, apologies, explanations. Look how sad they are. Heartbroken. They think it may be too late. They're very heartbroken. Deeply emotionally wounded by losing you. Yeah. They tend to be quiet, silent. That's not good. Yeah. This person needs to communicate effectively, uh, honestly, openly, if they want a solid relationship with someone. They need to learn how to communicate and how to listen. Yeah, listening is as important as talking, expressing, right? Um, hmm. Obviously, we're going to go into your extended reading Pisces. We're going to ask about this person, but also new soulmate that popped up, as king of wands, entering your life. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle the soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmate entering your life, the king of wands energy, new chapters, new beginnings in your life, also your health finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.